Thanks for joining us today on Playing the Field. I'm Maria Soraya. Welcome to my house. Now, this is our very first show back since, I guess it was probably March when we did our spring training show, and then everybody's been sidelined by the coronavirus. But not to worry, sports are on their way back. We've got lots of guests on the show today that are going to talk about IndyCar, football, baseball, you name it, we're going to talk about it. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. We are back, and I am now joined by my first guest, Graham Rahal, who would have been my guest about two weeks ago at the Long Beach Grand Prix if we had been at the Long Beach Grand Prix. Graham, how are you doing? I'm good, thanks. Yeah, it's kind of kind of strange not to see you there. Um, uh, yeah, you know, exactly. it's, I feel like a yearly tradition for me since I first began, you know, going to Long Beach a long time ago. But uh, yeah, we're doing all right. You know, I think. Uh, hopefully we're starting to get towards the end. We're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel in this deal and, and uh, you know, able to start to, uh, to look ahead and maybe get back to some racing soon. Yeah, we want, I definitely want to talk about that. But first of all, what is life in quarantine like for you and Courtney the last month and a half? Well, it's been great. You know, in a, in a weird way, it's, um, you know, we, we've been able to spend a lot more time together than we normally would have, which has been nice. And able to spend a lot of time with our dogs. It's been good, but you know, after a while, let's be honest, you start to lose that 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 motivation a little. It's like, okay, when is this going to end? When are we going to be able to to get back to uh, uh, to normal life? Now NASCAR is starting up, and I kind of think that NASCAR might kick off sports starting again. Tell tell me your feelings on that. I think you're spot on. Um, I I feel like they were always going to be the sport to take the boldest move. Um, yeah. You know, they are a sport that is very heavily TV funded. Yes. Um, you know, their TV contract is tremendous. Uh, and that really helps the entire ecosystem of that sport. IndyCar is not as well off in that stage. So that is a challenge for us. Having said that, I think I'm, I'm, I'm very sure you're going to see us on track at the beginning of June. So we're not far off now. Um, will it have fans? Will it not? Will it have sponsors? Will it not? I don't have those answers. Uh, I, I don't, I don't know. You know, it's not my department, but right. you know, I think that it's time people realize that, uh, there is a de large demand for good things on TV for sports right. on TV. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so while a lot of our, like I can tell you our sponsor, United Rentals, you know, they flat out have told us like, hey, even if we can have fans, we'd really like the TV coverage right now. We'd like right. to get something. Um, yeah. And so I, I, I would see us starting to bridge that gap and starting to jump in and, and go racing. Now, the schedule has been changed a little bit. Um, I know that Indy is still on the schedule. What really was so strange to me was to think for a minute about Indianapolis with no fans is like, that would be so strange and jarring. Well, I don't think that'll happen. Uh, I'm pretty sure that if there is no fans, there will be no Indy 500 this year. Okay. Um, other races is one thing. The Indy 500 is a different spectacle, and it has to have fans. So it's just my guess. Uh, it's an educated guess, but it's my guess. And I don't think that – I don't think you would see the Indy 500 if fans weren't allowed. Having said that, uh, right now, the state of Indiana is going to be completely open to no crowd limitations starting July 3rd. Wow. Which, ironically, is the same weekend that we race at Indy for the Grand Prix in the Brickyard 400. Yeah. I doubt that was a coincidence. <laughs> but as of July 3rd, the state of Indiana is open. 100% go. So, which I think is, you know, what um, – Eric Holcomb's come up with their governor. I think he's come up with a great plan of, you know, where, where we're headed and all that sort of thing. So even though we don't know which race, races might happen, it's just kind of a logistics thing now. What are you most concerned about? Well, I, our sport is heavily based on fan interaction. I mean, you know this. Huge. Uh, you know, we, we, I see you all the time and, you know, shaking fans' hands and signing autographs and, yes. you know, taking photos where they're, you know, arms are around you and stuff like that. I think for a little while, we're going to, have to be very cautious with that. Um, 
you know, I think it's, that's a hard thing to accept and really talk about because it's not the basis and the foundation of our sport. That's right. But, you guys you know, spend so much time at every race, like you said, with the fans, signing things. It's like a, a lot of time that you guys totally yeah. do all the time. So that would be kind of weird to not have that. I think when we get back to, you know, where it's kind of opened up, I mean, I'm going to go back to life as normal just with some extra, you know, precautions in my brain. Maybe we'll have like a little hand sanitizer station when somebody comes up for an autograph. They can just pump. You can pump well, it. I think it's not. And I know that when we were about to do St. Pete this year. Yeah. Right before this all blew up. Yes. Um, that was going to be the case. Uh, they had hand sanitizing stations all over the racetrack for wow. fans. Um, there we go. So I do think that's going to be something that we're all going to be. Luckily with United Rentals, to be honest, it's not even a sponsor pitch. They literally have sanitizing stations we can rent. So we can easily <laughs> you'd get those. The leader. You'd be the leader here. <laughs> yeah, we can, we can make that happen. Okay, now Graham, tell us a little bit about these virtual races because uh, there's no racing going on and they got very chippy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we're competitive people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I remember Michigan, you know, we ran up front at Michigan, top two, top three all day. You know, and, and in the end, we kind of got hosed by a little strategy mishap uh, because it was a virtual race. And I remember I talked to, because Dale Jr. did that race. Yeah. I talked to him after the race, and he was like, man, I cannot believe how competitive everybody is. <laughs> and he's like, everybody's taking this so seriously. And I said, well, you know, at the end of the day, like, everybody's racers and I don't yeah. want to lose to Will Power or whoever else, you know? And so mm -hmm. I go out there and we want to win. But I think everybody's just itching to, to go, you know, at this stage. And so we're all kind of, Hey, you know, what have you heard? What have you heard? And you get all this drama going back and forth, but you know, I think we're just ready to get out and go. Hopefully it will be June in Texas. Is that the last thing that we've yeah, heard? Yeah. So I'm pretty positive June, June 6th in Texas, which was our already scheduled race weekend. I, th I think that we'll be going there. Hopefully Monterey is still on the schedule. But as of right now, yes, Monterey Good. is on. And there's two races in Monterey. So yes. Monterey is a doubleheader weekend. So hopefully we'll see a lot of people there because it's, it's going to carry a lot of weight. Obviously, you don't have Long Beach this year. You had to replace that. That race ultimately became Monterey. Well, for selfish reasons, I hope Monterey stays on because that would be our race to go cover. So yay for Monterey. <laughs> same, same here. We all love it up there, you know. Yeah. And, we get a lot of friends that come up from Southern California where my wife's from and, you know, come up to, to see us in Monterey and stuff. It's a beautiful, it's one of the most beautiful areas of the world. Well, Graham Rahal, thank you so much for jumping on and spending some time with us today. We will, um, we'll catch up with you again before this yeah. season uh, maybe gets started or in the middle of it somewhere. Sounds good. Thank you.